187 stuff by February 1, so just make sure you fill out the reg. You know, everybody watch Shark Tank? Anybody watch Shark Tank? Yes. I thought of something while he was talking. See these podiums? I think they ought to make them adjustable because I can't see them. They can't recognize them. They do. Anyhow, it's all good. Um, few trends about the insurance industry that I would like to talk about. And very briefly, today's panel is going to be on IULs. And the way the market is today, you may or may not know, is we don't have interest rates. That's a big problem. The other big problem in the state of New York and across the country, but especially in New York, is reserves. Now, why is this important when it comes to life insurance products? Well, my friend Tom here told me something the other day. He's, he'll be on the panel. They do a lot of annuities. He told me, I go, what do you need for reserves for every dollar when you do a fixed annuity in the state of New York? Does anybody know? What do you think? Well, Tom told me $2. I don't believe him, but he said $2 for every dollar in reserve. So if you're ever wondering why the interest rates in New York are lower than outside of New York, or you're wondering why, okay, the commissions are lower, it's because the reserves are higher. So reserves to an insurance company equal profitability as well. So why have so many companies left New York is because it's not as profitable because the reserves are higher. Which brings me to IULs. The market trend, whether you believe it or not, is 35% of all insurance sold last year was whole life. And to, for you guys in the career agencies, have kept that product up and strong, and it continues to be the breadwinner. IUL represents 25% of new life insurance sales. We couldn't say that 10 years ago. As a matter of fact, of all universal life insurance, IUL represents 66% of all new life insurance. Remember five years ago when the rage was guaranteed UL? Well, it's not as popular anymore. And why is that? Again, we're going to get back to the profitability standpoint. All life insurance companies require reserves on their products. The difference with an IUL is very simple. The insurance company is buying a hedge on the product. So in other words, instead of offering a fixed rate of 3% or 4% that they can't obtain forever, they have tremendous reserves, they're putting some of the onus on the purchaser of the insurance on the performance. In that way, it makes it cheaper for the insurance carrier from a reserve standpoint, which is why insurance carriers have gotten more and more creative with their IUL products. So with that in mind, I'd like to introduce the panel. Rod from National Life uh, will come up and talk about well, One other thing I failed to neglect. Some of the differences between the IULs in the marketplace, and as shepherds in the industry, if you don't know about IUL, with 187 and everything else, you need to learn about this product before. Here are the differences. People buy life insurance for need or greed, as I like to say. Either they buy it for the death benefit, or they buy it for accumulation and distribution, and maybe some living benefits. But along the way, that's why life insurance is sold and purchased, and that's where the difference in the different carriers are.